Hey guys, and welcome to my Pokemon Sword and Shield, or po the Pokemon 2020 Direct. I'm gonna watch it and go over it a little bit. Well, not really go over it, but like, just react to the Direct. Because I haven't seen it yet. Welcome to the Pokemon Direct. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. In today's broadcast, I'd like to touch on two topics. Let's get started with the first topic. Have a look at the following footage. That's a shiny book Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. This is fun. I would play this on this one. Maybe. I don't know. Play this because I've been going on this episode. I don't know this one because I've been recording and she's still not uploaded. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX It's been about 15 years since Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team and Blue Rescue Team were released for the Nintendo DS and Game Boy Advance systems in Japan. But now they will gain a new life as a Nintendo Switch title. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX will be released March 6, 2020. Well, we'll release we'll a demo version today in the Nintendo eShop shortly after this presentation. You'll be able to carry over your save data to the full version of the game once purchased, so please take this opportunity to get a sample of the fun. Now, for the other topic, I think we'll ask Game Freak to share it with you. Mr. Masuda, Mr. Omori, it's all yours. Hello everyone, I'm Masuda from Game Freak. Hello, and I'm Omori, also from Game Freak. We hope everyone has been finding something to enjoy in the latest no, entries to the Pokemon series, Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield, since their release last November. Our goal is always to deliver lively new adventures that delight Pokemon trainers around the world. We did our best to fill these titles with fun activities so that our players could have a fulfilling experience. And the Galar region is a vast one. We suspect you've had many new discoveries and fun encounters along your adventure. We've been thinking about how much we'd like it if everyone's Pokemon adventures could go on even longer, with more to dig into and new discoveries to explore. We've been working on plans for some time, in fact. This is why we at Game Freak are now developing the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass, a downloadable expansion for the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games that will be available for purchase from Nintendo eShop. Until now, we've sometimes released new titles set in the same region as previous games, such as Pokemon Platinum version or Pokemon Ultra Sun and Pokemon Ultra Moon. This expansion pass will be different from those games. You'll be able to set out on new adventures using the save data you're already playing with. We're in the thick of development now, but we've prepared some footage for you so you'll be able to at least get a feeling for what new experiences await you. Ooh, this is, this is what I'm excited for. Please have a look. What is Hopgoblin? It's a roof. Because I thought... Kim Professor. Or someone is a sister. 
colors. Maybe. Wow, that place is beautiful. This is all concept art. That's so pretty in here. Oh yeah, you can get a Sclarian Slowpoke. Someone traded me a Galarian Slowpoke because you can get one now in Mystery Gift. Can you do me the internet if I'm correct? Also, there's new clothing items to be had. Like an upper tier break. That's apparently like someone. Is that a girl? Or is that a guy? Try get to my screen as well. Try get to my monsters. Okay, I'll be interrupted. Dragon interaction told me like, you can like snipe, like a sniper. That's, that's her. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, so that looks dope. So that's the first experience of the and then this is the second one. You're like a worker. Virgin Rock. Virgin Steel. A uh, Reggie. New Reggie. Another new Reggie. Clarence Lobo. Clarence Lobo. I think that might be. Because there's Clarence Lobo. Clarence Lobo. Apparently. It's very good. Wow, those look sick. Oh, so sick. Okay. An ice guy that shoots ice out of his like, eyes. That's sick. Okay, yeah, that Colonial um, Articuno looks so cool. I feel like it makes Arjun an even better Pokemon, and he's already my favorite. Oh yeah, this is the... This is, I think... A new Legendary or something, and he has two different forms. <laughs> oh, that's the Eye of Legendary. I think it's ironic that he has those little triangles, which looks like the triforce. <laughs> what did you think of his first look? <laughs> the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield expansion pass will be composed of the Isle of Armor, planned to be released by the end of June 2020, and so the like Crown Tundra, June, July. planned to be released in autumn 2020. Out, if you buy the Pokemon like, Sword and Pokemon Shield expansion pass, you'll be able to enjoy both as they're released. So what it says, you can basically buy them offers a different adventure. But they just branch past it. Where you'll be able to visit unseen areas of the Galar region and meet new people and Pokemon that live there. There are two versions of the expansion pass. One for Pokemon Sword, and one for Pokemon Shield. Different Pokemon will appear in the That's different versions, grab. and you'll also run into some different people and places. We're hoping players can continue with the classic Pokemon experience of trading with one another and working together. Now, without further ado, let's have the director himself present more information on the Isle of Armor like and the Crown Tundra. Mr. Tani? So that's 60 for points. Hello! I'm Tani from Game Freak. I'm working as the director for the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. The Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra are in development as we speak. So today, we'd like to show off some designs and concept art to help introduce you to these new areas. 
your adventures in Galar are getting even bigger. First, let us introduce the Isle of Armor, which focuses on the theme of growth. That's interesting. Take a look. The next destination in your adventure is a giant island off the shores of the Galar region known as the Isle of Armor. This island is full of beautiful nature. You'll find beaches, bogs, forests, caves, and dunes. And of course, you'll find Pokemon that you couldn't previously find in Galar dwelling there too. There's a dojo for Pokemon battles on this island. And you'll take up an apprenticeship That's under the Pokemon cool. trainer who runs it. This is Mustard, who will become your mentor. He's also the mentor of Champion Leon, who you probably know quite well. In fact, Mustard has occupied the seat of Champion himself in the past. You'll also encounter new rivals among your fellow apprentices. When playing with the Pokémon Sword Expansion Pass, you'll be training with Clara, who is a Poison-type user. When playing with the Pokémon Shield Expansion Pass, you will be training with Avery, who is a Psychic-type user. They're both training hard so they can someday have a gym and stadium to call their own. Next, we'd like to introduce the legendary Pokémon that will be central to the story. Cub Fu. It's a fighting type oh, Pokemon so that strives to become stronger with single minded dedication. Get Naruto. The As Naruto you progress through your training, Mustard will entrust you with this Pokemon. Once you complete your training together with Cub Fu, it will be able to evolve into Urshifu. The, he looks dope. I think it's such a cool name. There is Single Strike Style, a fighting and dark type style that delivers a single strike at blinding speed. There's also Rapid Strike Style, a fighting and water type style that focuses on unleashing a torrent of rapid strikes. The only Rapid Strike Style looks dope. What's more, it's been revealed that Urshifu has a Gigantamax form. Each style will have a different appearance, as well as a different G-Max move. You'll be able to evolve your Kung Fu into an Urshifu in one of these two styles, Single Strike Style or Rapid Strike Style, during your adventure. Urshifu is a powerful Pokemon with a brand new ability, and it also has a new move for each of its two styles. Once you've completed your training, bring it with you for some online battles or official competitions. We also want to talk about Rillaboom, Cinderace, and Antelia, final evolutions of the first three Pokemon you team up with in the Gala region. During your adventure in the Isle of Armor, these special partners in your teams will be able to Gigantamax. You can look forward to seeing their new forms and new like a sniper, that's sick. And as you can see here, we've got even more in the works to make sure your journey is as smooth and fun as possible. There are new fashion items, and you'll even be able to obtain new looks for your bike. We hope you'll look forward to the new experiences coming in the Isle of Armor. That's dope. I am so excited. Next, I'd like to discuss the Crown Tunnel, <coughs> the second area, which has a theme of exploration. Exploration. I'm going to show you the information we it's have at the like moment. The whole theme of Galar. This expansion is set in the snow-swept realm of the Crown Tundra. Take a look for yourself at the beautiful scenery of this shining, silvery landscape. As it turns out, the Isle of Armor isn't the only uncharted area waiting for you all in the Gala region. In this frigid area, with its towering winter mountains, people live in small communities that support and rely on each other. Much like on the Isle of Armor, you'll be able to find Pokémon that didn't appear in the Gala region before. Like Fitting right in with this Pokemon? area's theme of exploration, there will be plenty for you to uncover. You might find a strange temple where you least expect it, or maybe spy a mysterious giant tree growing in a place it doesn't seem to belong. A certain person will appoint you as the leader of their exploration team in the Crown Tundra. You can gear up for adventure, and then head out to explore blizzard swept fields, and even deep inside Pokemon dens which you could only previously get a glimpse of during Max Raid battles. Next, we'd like to introduce Calyrex, the legendary Pokémon you'll discover he during your adventure. He has such a cool name, though. Like, his design Legends dope. say this Pokémon once ruled he over a part godlike. of Galar that included the Crown Tundra. 
It's characterized by its graceful, regal movements. Like ready to experience a never before told like story about the mysteries of Calyrex. Things. Crown He's Thunder so will have cool. a new form of co op play this as well. Looks badass, man. This will allow you and friends to enter and explore Pokemon dens that exist underground in the Crown Tundra. Deep inside the dens, you may see legendary Pokemon from past games Dynamaxing before your eyes. You'll be able to meet and make allies of all kinds of legendary Pokemon during your adventures Every in the Crown Tundra. Including ones you'll be able to catch through this co op play. It also appears that some brand new legendary Pokemon are also waiting to be found somewhere in this Ooh. land. And combined Modified. with the Isle of Armor, dozens of new clothing items will be added. Ooh, you can dress like Ma Plus, there will be new Ma battles Ma waiting for you to challenge Ma once you complete your entire game, Ma including the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. She we can't go into the details of everything, but we're working on planning and developing new ways to enjoy Pokemon even as we speak. Easy. The Isle of Armor and the and Crown Tundra like... areas themselves are actually two key so examples of the things we're working on. Both areas are, in fact, seamless maps, much like the wild area you can already experience in the Gala region where players are able to move around freely and control the camera. Of course, you'll be able to connect with other trainers and play with them, too. That new outfit looks there will like be Pokemon shopping. dens as well. You'll we'll be able to engage in max raid battles against Pokemon that haven't previously appeared in the Gala region. The animation team are so lucky. Let's slow down. There's more to see and do on the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra than there was even in the Wild Area. We'll bring you more information about them in future news reports, so I please stay tuned. Like a battle tower or something like that. That'd be cool. If, like, the battle what did you think? Tower after you beat it. We at Game Freak are all working hard to bring you new content. Like a battle tower or something. So you can spend more time having fun in the Gala region. We hope you're as excited as we are for what's to come. Kind of like a Grand Frontier. Thank you, Mr. Tani. On the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra, you'll see some familiar Pokémon that didn't appear in the Gala region before. There will be more than 200 Pokémon species that appear in these areas, and you can add to your team, including the legendary Pokémon mentioned before. Additionally, we'll be distributing free updates for Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield that will coincide with the releases of the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. These updates will allow people who don't have the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass to obtain the Pokemon that appear on the Isle of Armor and in the Crown Tundra through other means, such as trading. Players will also be able to bring over Pokemon to their game from the cloud service Pokemon Home as long as the Pokemon appear in the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass. Pokemon Home is planned to launch in February 2020. I don't want to say when we intend February, to release like... even more details before then, so please wait just a little bit longer. It's so like a long time away. Fact... Finally, we have some so, more like, news for our check. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield players. <laughs> Starting today, it seems like you're more likely to run into Gigantamax Colossal, Gigantamax oh, yeah, Lapras, and Gigantamax Flapple or Gigantamax Appleton in max raid battles in the wild area. Face these powerful Pokémon with your friends. There will also be a software update going live friends, shortly after are... this presentation. Once you've received the Literally, update, have head to Wedgehurst Station. My, like, in Pokémon Sword, you'll we encounter Clara, while in Pokémon Shield, you. you'll run into Avery. You'll also encounter a Galarian Slowpoke that's wandered in from the Isle of Armor. You'll be able to catch it and add it to your team. Galarian Slowpoke can evolve into Galarian Slowbro if you use an item that can be found on the Isle of Armor, or into Galarian Slowking if you use an item that can be found in the Crown Tundra. Don't forget to check it out. So you have to wait till like June 12th. Today, we've finally been able to show you some of what we at Game Freak are hoping to achieve going forward. We hope we've been able to get you excited for the continuing adventures waiting for you in the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. The Expansion Pass is the first for the core Pokémon series. We'll do our best to fill it to the brim with adventures like you've never experienced before. Whether you're just starting with Pokémon Sword and Pokémon Shield, or you've done everything there is to do, 
we'll do our best to develop something that everyone can enjoy. Stay tuned for more updates in the future! My thanks to everyone from Game Freak. The Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield Expansion Pass, which contains both the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra, will be available for pre-purchase on Nintendo eShop shortly after this presentation. You'll also be able to access Nintendo eShop directly from the Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield menu once you install the latest update for your game. I think it's 30 bucks. As a special purchase bonus, we've also prepared some clothing items that can be used starting today. Pokemon will continue to try new things in 2020 to bring fun and joy to people around the world. Thank you for tuning in. So yeah, I think that was really good. Um, I didn't really like it's a dope. I really think that the expanding pass was a good idea, especially since you're gonna get G Max old Pokemon. I'm really excited to see what happens. Anyway, guys, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you, and I will catch you on the flip side.